another actual story. I had a group of agents, and I think the number of agents was probably four. And I always wanted to create a, a kind of a laboratory with realtors. I always wanted to get realtors together, and I always wanted to put them under the microscope, and I wanted to make them work. So we had a little space in Ontario, went down and we opened the Success Academy. I had four realtors, I believe it was four. Had four realtors came to work down there. We had our own sales board. We, almost, we operated basically as a separate company. And we started, we had a start time, and we had an end time. You know, like a real job. And then we had things we needed to do within that environment. We had things we did from this time to here, things we did from this time to here, things we did from this time to here. I got to listen to everybody talk, and I could see the ones that were getting results, the ones that weren't getting results. I could see why, and I could say, hold it, you need to fix this. A lot of tears shed there. I don't know how many boxes of Kleenex we went through there. But because you know, I'm tough love. If you ask me what to do, I'm going to tell you what to do. If you say, hey, how great do you think I am? I go, well, your mother listed with you, and then it expired. I don't think you're that great of a realtor. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I'm not going to go, hey, good job, unless it was a good job. So these agents were doing a really good job. But I, I, I realized real quick that it was all just kind of fun. I hadn't really been able to reach anybody. So I had each one of them create their mission statement. How many of you, don't show me your hands, but just ask yourself the question, how many of you have not really written down your mission statement? What are you all about in the real estate business? <coughs> Excuse me. Why am I doing this? Why is it important to me? I mean, to me, that's a very basic fundamental. I gotta have that, right? So each one of these agents did a mission statement. They brought them in. I made them share them with me. I looked at a few of them, I handed them back. These aren't any good. Because they didn't bring a tear to my eye and they didn't bring a tear to your eye. You know, a mission statement has to be something that strong. So they rewrote them. I think we went through three boxes of Kleenex that next day. But everybody got something down on paper that they were committed to and that was very, very important to them. That's what's important in the real estate business. You realize something's real important, it becomes easy to accomplish. So we've got to set the goal. We've got to do a mission statement. Do your five-year plan. And, and literally, you've got the forms right here. After the class, get out a pencil and do it. So weekly allotment of time. You notice I reworded that because when I say schedule, a lot of people freak out. Schedule. Why do you think I became an independent contractor, Dan? Nobody tells me what to do. I get to work when I want to. Okay. I don't think that's a very good financial background or base for your business. So very simple. Just be honest. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, my God, is he recommending I work Sunday? I don't, I don't care what days you work. But have some days that you work on a regular basis. You know, I've said many, many times, and I keep going back to this, if a realtor had the work ethic that is required to maintain employment at Del Taco, you know, show up every day at a certain time, can you imagine talking on a speaker, say you want to supersize that, while you're ringing somebody else up? I mean, I look at that job and I think, my God, I couldn't do it. But if a person had the work ethic, then they would do very well in the real estate business. So when you do this, when you put your time allotment down, be honest, if it doesn't work, then change it. You know, I know realtors that made a lot of money that didn't get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. They're really, I know a lot of them. I know realtors that made a lot of money that didn't show up till 10 o'clock but they were somewhat repetitive in what they did. They knew what they were doing. They had a system, and they were looking to income generate. So I kind of bumped that in because I got to realizing that if I didn't give this to you, 
the basics, that teaching you what to say to expired listings or what to say to for sale by owners would not have the impact. So when we go into this next system, I'm going to uh, just touch around it a little bit here. And it's a system one is income generating. You have to have a system of income generating. If, if somebody asks you this question, and you might want to walk in to a mirror and ask yourself this question, how do I generate business? Mike Ferry told me one time, because we always all had to write our business plans down, our goals and our mission statements and all that. And he would always say, if I hear, if I see the word wait or hope, it's void. Right? Well, I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to hope, and we'll see what happens. Well, I can tell you what happens. I already know. I never chose to do it myself because I always knew what the outcome was. So you have to have income generating systems. It's critical to have multiple systems. You realize it's possible for a, a realtor? I'm quite certain I could work three days a week and generate a great above average income in the real estate business. I'm certain. What days would they be? You know? Well, they'd be the days when most people are home. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, there's Dan saying, suggest I work Sunday again. I don't care. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you realize that there's so many four-day workweek jobs nowadays, in California especially, that Friday's like a day off. You know, they, they, they call it on the freeways now, they call it Friday light, right? Because nobody's going to work. So, I mean, imagine if I knocked on doors eight hours a day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that's all I did. And I had my skill level good. I could say, hi, I'm Dan, I'm your neighbor's realtor. And, and, I, and, I, and I just worked my way through that. I, I, just, I just sell a lot of houses, there's no doubt. Well, that's so much work, three days a week, eight hours a day. Del Taco requires more than that, I think. 